Hey, my ninjas out there. Welcome back. I want to get right into this deck. Uh, this, uh, this has been a request from a lot of you that I do some infinite decks and that I also play some more arena gameplay. So I'm like, hmm, how can I combine the two? I know. I'll just make some infinite, <laughs> infinite decks on arena. What better way? So that's what we're going to do here. And thanks to Brandon Ritchie for pointing this deck out to me. Some of you may already know about this combo, but for those who don't, it's going to be a lot of fun. And for those of you hip to it, I'm going to show you a pretty good deck build. Dauntless Bodyguard, it is a one drop, and we're going to use this card essentially to protect our combo. Or we can just throw him down as a quick little way to deal two damage on turn two. Um, he's going to give something indestructible. We're going to run a total of four copies of him. Sorcerer's Wand is part of our combo where we would go infinite. We will need this in order to do so. It is a one drop. We're going to run four of them. Equipped creature has tap. This creature deals one damage to target player or planeswalker. If this creature is a wizard, it deals two damage to that player or planeswalker instead. Equipped for three. We're not so much concerned about the second portion of this. Uh, the wizard, we're not going to have any wizards in the entire deck, so we don't really care about that. But the essential part is the creature deals one damage to target player or planeswalker. That is huge. Four copies. Next up, our second part of the turn uh, four infinite win. Um, Famish Paladin. It is a two drop. Must have this card in order to get it. Vampire Knight. He doesn't untap during your untap step. But whenever we gain life, we can untap him, which makes him ridiculous. It's a 3-3. Three, three. I'll show you the combo in one second. Knight of Grace. It's a two drop. This card really helps give this uh, deck a chance outside of us to turn, uh, outside of just the infinite combo in the deck. So we're going to run four copies of Knights of Grace. It's a two drop with Hexproof from Black and First Strike. And also, if they control Black permanent, we can get plus one plus zero. Pretty sweet. Four copies of Benelish Marshal. Mainly because other creatures you control get plus one plus one. And also, he's a human knight himself. So this is a knight deck. Why not throw him in here? Um, he is a three dropper. All planes. We're running nothing but planes anyway. And this card's really going to aid out the deck. Forerunner of the Legion, he is going to act as a tutor. We're only running one copy of Forerunner of the Legion, though, because other than the tutor ability, he doesn't really do us any good. Yeah, he's a knight, so he does get the perks from some of the other cards in the deck, but, I mean, even his second ability, whenever another vampire enters the battlefield under your control, target creature gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. Not really going to help. Now, keep in mind that Famished Paladin, again, is a vampire, so we can tutor him up. Next up is History of Benalia. History of Benalia is a three-dropper. I did try running four of these in the deck, but it just didn't seem to work as well and when I cut it down to two it worked a lot better so we're going to run two copies of this create a 2-2 white knight creature token in saga one and two with vigilance and then the saga three knights you control get plus two plus one until end of turn it's really cool it's going it, to not catch our opponents off guard because they obviously see it coming but it is something hard and difficult for our opponents to deal with two copies radiant destiny this card's seeing a lot of play um, in standard and especially in modern uh, that's really cool it is a three drop enchantment as Radiant Destiny enters the battlefield. Choose a creature type. This is great for any of your tribes, really. Creatures you control of the chosen type get plus one, plus one. As long as you have the city's blessing, they also have vigilance. Crazy perk there. We're going to run a play set, four of them. Squire's Devotion. This is the other part of our combo. Squire's Devotion is a three drop. Enchant creature. Enchanted creature gets plus one, plus one, and has lifelink. When Squire's Devotion enters the battlefield, create a one, one white vampire creature token with lifelink. That last ability there, we really don't care about. So let me show you how this is all going to work really quick. And then I'll get into the rest of the deck and we'll get into some nasty little gameplay. So Squire's Devotion. First up, we're going to need to at some point have Sorcerer's Wand on the battlefield. We can drop him as early as turn one. So let's say he's already out there. Famish Paladin, he, it only costs two. We can bring him out turn two. So after that, let's say we get into our turn three and we end up equipping good old Squire's Devotion to our Famish Paladin or enchanting him, I should say. Now, with those four pieces out by turn four, we are able to, and, and equipping uh, Famished Paladin with the Sorcerer's Wand and with Squire's Devotion. What's going to happen here is Famished Paladin's equipped with Sorcerer's Wand. He has Lifelink now. So when we're attacking, or not attacking, when we, when we decide to tap our Famished Paladin using Sorcerer's Wand, this, tar this creature deals one damage to target player or Planeswalker, it is going to hit our opponent for one damage, and lifelink. Thus, it's going to untap Famish Paladin. Because why? Whenever you gain life, we untap him. And then guess what? We just do it again. And again. And again. And again. Until our opponent eventually quits and throws in the game. Uh, really fun little combo there. 
Now, next up, we have a Johnny Adversary of Tyrants. He is a four drop. I really wanted to use this kitty in a deck at some point, and I finally got around to doing it. I think it's a fun way to include him, especially because his second ability, uh, return target creature card with converted mana cost two or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. Who has that, you might ask? Famished Paladin will be affected by that. So let's say we do have Famished Paladin removed. We do have a way to bring him back. So not only do we have a way to bring him back from the graveyard, but we also have a way to tutor him up with our Forerunner of the Legion. So it's a little bit of help to get to that combo a little quicker, or at least get the combo back. We're running two copies of a Johnny. Next up, on Sarah's Wings, because a lot of you guys have mentioned Sarah's Wings and wanted to see me throw it in a deck. I thought, what better way than to throw it in a deck which doesn't have any flyers whatsoever? And let's give them a couple angels in the deck. Essentially, that's what on Sarah's Wings is doing. It's going to give some of our knights basically an angel-like ability. They're going to be flying. They'll have the Vigilance uh, and even Lifelink, this one. It is a four-drop kind of hefty, but later in the game, it will come in handy, uh, possibly to close out a game. And we're going to run one copy of Valiant Knight, just because I didn't see a lot of people playing with Valiant Knight. And I felt kind of bad for the card, honestly. So I picked him up, and I decided to draft him for my kickball team. So now we have Valiant Knight. 24 planes, that's the deck. Sideboard really quick, four seal aways, because you got to have some kind of removal, of course. You can swap these cards in and out any time uh, that you're not involved in a game. And uh, it, it's a great way to remove stuff. Cast out, again, you got the cycling on it, and it's exiling. Uh, any permanent on the battlefield is pretty sweet. Two copies of those. Two copies of Exilon's Binding. Again, it's going to be exiling something. And uh, this way, you can't cast that same spell, or your opponent can't cast that same spell if it's exiled already. Angel of Sanctions. It's an angel. It's a flyer. Maybe we need some flyers out there to compete. And also, it has Embalm, so it can come back. And not only that, but it's also... Uh, uh, a removal in itself. It can exile uh, another target permanent until it's killed. So there is the entire deck. Uh, let's just get right into it. Let me show you guys some gameplay. We have everything we need. Except this sucker's gonna die quick. We better wait till next turn. At least we can protect it. Okay. He's going to shock it. Strike it next turn, at least. We need to survive one more turn. After this, without him destroying it. Four, four. It's not bad. Please don't destroy my beautiful paladin. You know you don't want to hurt him. He didn't kill it. Oh my gosh, that's game. I think. I think that's game. Oh my gosh. I think we just went infinite. What is he doing? Come on, buddy, take your turn. Oh, I think we got it. Come on, little fella. Oh, oh. Sorry, it's exciting, guys. <laughs> That's game. Oh my gosh, we did it. 
We did it. We did it. We just go if <laughs> We just go infinite. Oh, it's so cool. We love going infinite here on Bad Boy Gaming. <laughs> I think he gets it. Oh, come on. Let me do it to you, buddy. There you go. <laughs> oh, it's too funny. It is too funny. That's that's the combo right there. You're looking at it. We're, we went infinite. We can do this forever. I didn't mean to mute him. Shping, shping. I think he walked away. Maybe not. I mean, we can also do this to all of his creatures and just ping them all off too. I'm sorry, no, just to him, just to him, sorry. I said that wrong. I'm thinking of the arrows I used to use in other decks. So, we just do one damage to him forever until he throws in the flag. Really cool. I hope you guys thumb this up and share it. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, it's a slow way to win, okay, but you're guaranteed to win once you pull off the combo. <laughs> oh, he sped it up for us. Or the computer, I think, did it because he timed out. That is so cool. Hey, we will see a sign. So yeah, this deck isn't bad. It holds up decently. I'm not gonna say it's amazing, but it's definitely a lot of fun. There you go. See you next time, guys. PLA. Grendel Prime? Well, it rhymes with Grendel, and that's never a good thing. Oh, this looks okay. I mean, really, not really, but you know, what are you gonna do? Oh, he's coming quick. That's cool. Bodyguard turn one's like a waste, but I don't know. And yeah, we got a lot of three drops in this deck, unfortunately. Ah, uh, we didn't have anything we really wanted. Yeah, whatever, I guess just for fun. Drop him down. I should I could have waited for Ben Lynch, but whatever. <laughs> There's no point to attack here. Or is he going to take Radiant? That's what I thought. Get rid of one of the history. I would have done the exact same thing. Let's 
Hunter's one. That's fun. This is a good time to slap that down the next turn. I'll do that much. Yet. We need to get a little more beefy, and with two cards that beef up our guys, we might as well wait a little bit. Spells that can reduce me like that, that's cool. I'm gonna drop this first and then this, that way he doesn't just remove this, but it's like a lightning strike. Because that would really stink. Definitely should have attacked there. Nothing I can do about that. He does. Okay, there we go. Sweet. Pump it up, baby. Pump it up. Swing it with these two gents. No blocks. City's blessing, baby. That's what I'm talking about. He's in some trouble. Can't let him finish me off with like a lightning bolt or something, so I gotta block those two. And just in case he had like a, a bolt or something. There we go. Now, a lightning strike, sorry. And the next one. Have the entire combo. We got the entire combo right here. Keeping. Alright. So it'll take the turn four for us to do this. Turn. 
If he's gonna counter something. Not this counter one, but the one after. Can't counter this. Oh, we're we're good. He can't counter he can't counter nothing. I might as well attack him. We do nothing else with him. And then next turn we equip. And it should be game. That's, I think it's game. I think we got a lock. Ramp basted. Ruined my dreams. Easy to remove, but when we can pull it off, it's pretty fun. Already got City's Blessing. It's pretty quick, turn five. We get one more land so we can utilize both these cards. Nice. We'll leave Homeboy in the back. I wasn't even thinking. We can just return to our hand. Yes. I wasn't even thinking. But a Johnny. That's why Johnny's in here in the first place. For me to do this, it's really going to take a bit to get there. You come so far. I guess I can do this now. We might as well bump some stuff up. Strength is born of struggle. And then next turn we can do it. If he doesn't concede. Oh, we're gonna need a little bit more mana too. That's thanks. We'll have to hold out. He'll concede. Darn it. Less aggressive. Yeah, we don't got much time against a deck like this. So. Stuff to do here. Our actions determine the course of this. Oh, say hello to my little friend. The land, good. Busted. Ah, we need to go infinite before he does. Arr. Return to the fight. One land shy. Ah, oh, it's brutal. Brutal. One land shy. We'll just wait till next turn. Hopefully, do another land. Does not look like him. Shoot. Well chosen. 
Yes. Well, he still has other cards, but. One will end. Just one land shy of doing our infinite. Ah, uh, we won. All right, he knew he knew it was coming. All right, cool. Well, came close that time, guys. Sorry. Out of the next one.